Hello, this is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti-financial advisor. Welcome you here because I'm going to show you how you can get your money working harder for you so you don't have to work so hard for your money. And by the way, I mean, why not have it all, right? Uh, here's a big question that so many people ask. They'll say, okay, Chris, like, uh, and even financial advisors, like insurance agents, they don't even get, understand this totally. They'll say, all right, can a whole life policy, whole life insurance policy really beat a mutual fund? Things like IRAs and 401ks can they really beat it, especially when they make such lower returns? So let's answer that question right now. So I'm gonna share with you right kind of my screen here to kind of go over the different numbers. So I took a situation, I said, all right, let's see if we could take like 20,000 a year, right? So say this is a 40 year old, 20,000 a year you put in for the next 20 years. Now say you put in the, into the, an IRA, right? Now I know that you can't even put that much into IRAs or Roth IRAs, even that much per year. Um, this would be more like a 401k even, right? So great, we'll use that example. Say you got an average of 7% a year in the market. Now people say, yeah, but Chris, I've heard from advisors that the average is like 10 or 12%. Guess what, it's false. That's the average, but it's not the actual yield. And there's a difference, and that's a whole nother conversation right there. But if you go from the actual yield of the S&P 500 for the last 30 years, it's averaged 7.55% as of right now. So you, even if you got the S&P 500 fund, right, and that's all you're investing in, you know, you got about a half percent of fees because those fees aren't factored into those returns. Once you add that, that's 7%. So I'm being like overly optimistic here just to play devil's advocate against my point, right? So 7%, 20,000 years, you do that for 20 years. You put in 400 grand, your total end balance is about $877,000, assuming that the market smiles on you just right, right? Now, you still haven't paid tax on that money. So if you pay tax on that, the net gain is gonna be more like about 666,000 if you're at a 24% tax bracket. I know many of you here are on a higher tax bracket than that, but let's just say, again, devil's advocate against my point here, 24%, that's 666,750 bucks. I know, horrible number, right? Now, what if we did that same thing in a whole life insurance policy? What would that look like? So, I'm gonna share that one with you now. So, whole life insurance policy here, it looks like this. Okay, so, 20,000 a year, you have that going in for 20 years, there's 400,000. So age 60, you're at $686,000. Now this is after costs of the insurance and everything, right? So we're not even comparing buy term and invested difference. This is presuming you don't even buy any term on that other side, right? With the, uh, with, you know, with the money that's going into the mutual funds. We're just saying purely, hey, what if it was dollar for dollar? You know, money coming out for whole life costs and everything else. Yeah, you, you play catch up, but look at this. Even when you're at 4.9% average, that's tax-free money tax-free, right? So even though the other one was 877,000, at 24%, you only have 666,000. This one beats it by $20,000, even if you earn 7% in the stupid stock market. Now, that's not all. Here's the thing you have to understand. Now, when they're telling you to pull money out, right? When they tell you to pull money out of IRA, a good advisor usually won't tell you to pull out more than two or 3% a year. So let's just say it's 3%. The 877,000, you pull out at 3%, you're pulling out roughly 25,000 a year and then getting taxed on it. Here's the thing, on this one, you're pulling out 60,000 a year. I had you do it for 25 years till you're 90 years old. So from age 65 on, you're pulling out 20,000 or 60,000 a year. That's 1.5 million you've pulled out. 1.5 million that you were able to get. 60,000 a year versus 25,000. So just because you're able to avoid the tax, now you might say, hey, I could do a Roth IRA. You could, but guess what? You can't put in more than 6,000 a year in a Roth IRA unless you're over 50, then you can put in a whopping 7,000 a year. This actually gives you the freedom and flexibility to do more and create more cash flow at retirement. By the way, here's a little secret. You can actually do better than what I'm showing right now. There are ways that I could design this to make it even get a better rate of return than this. and what if you could use that money, not waiting for 20, 25 years, like in this example, what if you could use this money now? What if you could start using this money to invest in other things that give you better returns and essentially make money in two places at the same time, money in the whole life and that money coming out of the whole life to earn money here and earn money outside of it at the same time. That's earning two returns at the same time. 
what if you could do that? And I'm asking that question because you can do that. So anyways, you want to learn what that is. Find my video about how you can actually earn returns on your money twice. So check that out. Again, subscribe to my, my YouTube channel here. You can watch other great videos covering the same kind of topics, things that will just blow your mind. So anyways, thanks for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.